What is up everyone? Today we wanted to take you on a journey searching for our cargo van. We wanted to start our own business and we wanted to start off by taking you guys on the journey from the get-go. So stay tuned, follow along. A little update, we went to our first spot. They didn't have the cargo van that we wanted so we're moving on. We're going to a place that we were looking up before. Uh, he offered some other one but we are not interested. So we are just going to go to the place that we originally wanted to go to. One thought on that. These places need to update their websites. If they want to stay on top of their business game, part of the whole business is being updated day to day with your inventory stock. And how can any place be taken seriously if they're not going to update their information? That's so annoying because we found one that we really liked, we wanted to look at, but they said it was gone. Like. That's so messed up. Update your websites. Update your websites. Well, we just got to the other location. It's Cargo Van Go, and we're gonna go take a look. Yeah, the lady at this place was really nice. Um, she said that all the vans, they have the price on them, which that's one of the most annoying things when you pull up to a car lot and none of the vehicles have prices, like they want you to go talk to them about them and shit. Like, no, we want to know the price, like get to see the mileage. She said once we find some that we like, then we take a picture, we can go in there and show her whatever one and then we can test drive them. So this is exciting. Now this is more what I was talking about. They have them everywhere. We got the baby Wuna. We got the wrong way. And this is what I was more thinking. All right, we'll get back to you with what goes on. So far, this one we're going to look at. What year is it, Sarah? It's a 2013. Um, it has 200,000 miles and it is just under $12,000. Yeah, so we're going to check this one out. Yeah. Saw a lot of good things on Ford. We're also going to check out We're also going to check out the Chevy. But I really like the back of this one, man. Yeah. They got that really good metal gate with the door. Go ahead, Wolves. What do you think of this one? Oh wow. Bye, Boopers! <laughs> oh my gosh. Well, that's Roro. That's Wuna. This is her extended. She's huge, bro. I love the inside. Hey, got that nice gate. Let's go. Let's get it. you guys know look at that look what they're already doing they got slime dude <laughs> look like it came it has this rack on the door really like that i'm gonna take it to the car wash but not yet just thought oh i'd show you guys God. around i told them what oh, it is and yeah. stuff look at these side doors it's 
really like it, so I said it was the only one there. And then, because we went to another place earlier in the day, as you guys seen that we were looking for an extended and they did not have one. They, it was on their website, but it was gone. Yeah, and then obviously that door back, back there opens. And I really like it. Okay. Oh, that was them honking the horn? Yeah. I was looking around, but yeah, that's it. There she is. Hi, so one other thing that I wanted to explain to you is our reasoning on why we bought the van that we did. Um, we were looking at Sprinter vans and you know, they're really expensive, um, even like, <clears throat> 2013 models you know older models are still really expensive and we wanted to pay cash we didn't want to have payments on the vehicle um, and looking throughout YouTube and watching the videos and what people said um, they said that most of their loads they could actually fit into a cargo van so we thought okay maybe go the cargo van route um, so um, we were researching online and we realized, you know, we could get like a 2013, 2014 for under $15,000. Um, so we looked around and we found this one. It's a long one. So we thought, okay, we'll get the longest cargo van that's within, you know, 10 years old this is a 2013 so we could have it for at least two years and it will still be under 10 years old because um, I guess that's important to companies if it's you know kind of like newer so it's like the oldest within the range of what we could get um, within our price range so um, it was cheap enough but new enough and long enough so it hits those three boxes um, and we could buy it with cash so we don't have that overhead then when we're making our runs and um, hopefully this is a new journey new adventure for us I'm really excited to do this um, now next we have to get our DOT MC look into insurance um, insurances <laughs> um, but not having that that overhead is like gonna be less stressful for us i know we probably won't be able to get like some of the bigger um loads that you can get with a sprinter van and those are obviously more money but i think if you go and you put a sprinter van on lease you're kind of looking for those bigger loads anyway because you have more overhead um, more things that you know you're gonna have to pay for your payment and then I'm guessing I have to do more research into this but if you have that Sprinter van on lease you'd have to have full coverage insurance so insurance is gonna be way more um, that's another thing that goes into your load so we're not like looking to get the biggest most expensive loads we're just looking for enough to um, maintain our household have a little bit of extra money you know to save to spend we're not trying to be like balling out of control or anything i think this van will serve its purpose um for what we need it for just fine um so yeah i hope we can do a lot of work with this um we are we're hustlers so we're gonna be on the grind looking for loads and different ways we could even use this van um because too we have bigger goals in mind um you know our jobs and the things we do and the money we save is all there it's all just all stepping stones for a bigger journey um we're not looking to do this sort of thing forever but it's going to get us to the next place in life that we want to get to and um we're really really happy so that is it thanks for coming along this is family hot dish uh what i wanted to talk about was there's a little background i got my cdl when the pandemic hit because i lost my cabinet making job uh due to the virus or whatever so i went and got my cdl uh, with that time off and then I went and got a job. I was there like eight months or something. I, I like the job 
But then there was times they had me work some holidays, just like stuff like, you know, when my days were about 15, 16 hours. So then like nothing against the place. I'm finally like, you know what? I don't want to start a business. We have the funds. So we got our LLC. We're really excited and thanks for coming along.